The Maritime Museum of Crete is located right at the port of Hanya. On two floors it presents a rich exhibition of Cretan maritime history. My personal highlight is the conversation with a member of the modeling team, who build almost all the models on display here from wood, cardboard and wire. The average construction time is two years. I initially went into the museum because I wanted to see the fort, which was quite interesting, and I wanted to go up the tower. However, the museum itself is fascinating. Everything is well laid out and the building is lovely and cool. I learned a lot about Greek and Cretan history. I particularly liked the scale model of the port in Venetian times. It was interesting to see which parts are still there, the shell room, and the section about Crete in the Second World War. I was very touched by the wedding dress knitted from German parachute cords. It was humbling to think of someone creating something beautiful out of materials that were available. Very detailed videos of the history plus artifacts preserved in an excellent condition. Gives you the whole story of Hanya from BC till World War II. The actual torpedo examples and weapons give you a near real feeling of the destructive power of war machines used in different battles. Battle of Crete section, some items have Greek and English captions, and the English is most welcome. However, many artifacts and photos in which I am interested lacked captions, or the captions are worn and illegible. Ship models are numerous and outstanding. They have a model making facility on site. These are the star of the show. It is a very foreigner friendly, almost everything is translated to English. Amazing vacuum tube collection. Unfortunately, the value is lost if there are no attendant descriptions about what these artifacts are, what they were used for, and some context as to what came after. The exhibitions of the inside of a ship, the stamps and the puffer fish and other sea creatures were my favorites of the entire museum. The layout is very well thought out and easy to navigate, especially that visitors are given paper maps as tickets. On the tickets you can read that the museum is a non-profit society and by paying for the ticket we contribute to its conservation. At the entrance there is a small souvenir shop with books and small trinkets. I went expecting it would only take about 45 minutes to go round but ended up spending 2.5 hours there. I got myself a lovely pen, which can be seen on one of my pictures. I'd recommend a visit if you're by the harbor and follow it with lunch or dinner at one of the many tavernas in the area. I found the museum totally absorbing and wholly recommend it.